You wouldn't come to our wedding. No. Hello. Hello, hello. But you're really not. It depends on who you're married. Um, honey, we've got our festive fall cups and we're ready to talk all about our experience at the Crumble HQ. HQ birthday party. We've got a lot to say. Y'all, this hair needs to be washed. <sighs> Let's do a little cheers thumbnail. Okay. Cute. I've been trying to up my thumbnail game. Have you noticed? No. Okay. <laughs> well, there we are. This heat got this real hot and you know, my mouth has been. Oh, I love, honey. It, if you all, like when I put my coffee and my creamer in, I can't just drink it. It has to be scalding to me. I've always been like that. I don't know why. Um, anyway. Well. So okay. as most of you have seen, we were invited by Crumble Cookies to go out to Utah, which literally we joked about for months. We did. When Crumble first contacted us and we did the first Zoom call with them, we're like, honey, we'd love to come to Utah. Thinking, like, Thinking that was out of the realm of possibilities of things right. that we would ever get to do. And so, flash forward, I mean, we've been doing these reviews now for, what do we say, nine months? Ten months? Eight. Uh, February. And February it's will be ten, year. so eight, about eight months. Um, and really, we just started it because I wanted him to revive the YouTube channel. Um, because y'all faithful watchers know that he went MIA for like a year. Yeah, I did. Maybe even longer. Maybe. It and, was during that transition to real estate. Yes. So he didn't have time. And I was like, let's get back to doing that. And But the hit on there was the Bath and Body Works reviews. Well, he and I collectively no. gave away two full laundry baskets worth of product. That, Unopened. Never been used. Great stuff. We gave it to the one of the local um, girls group homes. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm thrilled oh, about that. I'm so glad. But... We were spending money to make these videos, and then I still, even after giving an entire laundry basket of product away, have two shelves full of stuff that I still will probably not ever use. Okay. So we wanted something new, and Crumble Cookies came to town, and mm -hmm. we went after the mayhem settled down, because it was crazy, insane. And y'all know I don't, I don't do know. lines I or weights. I don't do good with that yeah. at all. So, um, in fact, we went that first weekend and it was a immediately zoo, drove away. A zoo. Immediately. There's no way I would have waited. I love you, Crumble, but there's no way I would have waited in that line. No. But when we did get to go, it was Valentine's week and we got a box of cookies that still to this day have not been topped. Have not. It They've was, come close. It was the chocolate. Cheese, uh, chocolate strawberry cheesecake, the X's and O's. What else was that? There was a, a third one. I know. We loved it. I don't, a cake batter. Uh huh. And it was a fantastic week. And we were like, oh. So we were sold. Ma. And that's before we even wanted to do reviews because she wanted to do TikTok. And honey, I, me personally, like she's young enough to pull off TikTok. I'm too old to learn TikTok. I'm really not because I still haven't done it because I can't figure it out. And after we met with the people on Crumble TikTok. I don't want to do it. I'm happy for them. Nicole, yeah. Bree, keep oh, doing it. Love them. But honey, we're miss just... Miss them. Miss oh, our no. friends. We'll get, we're getting ahead of it. We are. We are. But um, honey, we're just on here. Ours is more... We told them ours is more of like a podcast. That's right. We're not edited. No. You're getting raw, real footage. Unedited. It is what it is. If there's a booger hanging out of my nose, fine. You're seeing it. If I get a nosebleed on camera, also fine. Yeah, so... Fine. But it started off, we left... Um, he was in New York. I was here in Kingsport, but um, his car was in Asheville, so I told them I could fly out of Tri-Cities or Asheville. Flew out of Asheville. He flew out of New York. We met in Dallas, which mm -hmm. was perfect. Got on our flight from Dallas to Salt Lake City. Here's where it started getting wonky for me. I'm extremely susceptible to motion sickness. I can't ride rides. I get car sick. I have to sit in the front with air blowing on my face. It's just not a good combination for me. And I was on the literal back row of that plane from Dallas to Seattle, Seattle, Salt Lake. In the last 20 minutes, we had some severe turbulence. Tyler's going to tell you it's not, but let me tell you. They came over the loudspeaker and they're like, due to the turbulence, our flight attendants are going to stay in their seats buckled. You can throw your trash away on the way off the plane. So they didn't even collect trash. The kid to this side of me was puking. 
the girl beside of me was like, I'm extremely nauseous. And I was just literally praying to God to get us on the ground so that I wasn't in the same boat as them. Because I felt horrendous. Um, so we landed and I told Tyler, I was like, I'm not doing well. And he was like, what? I was watching a movie. I didn't feel a thing. When I tell you I was looking, I'm in the back row and the, everybody in the plane was like. See, I was just watching The Martian and I guess I was just so engrossed in it. And I'm thrilled for you that you don't get motion sick because it's truly awful. But And I guess it's where I fly all the time to New York and I don't know. I fly in my entire life that has nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. I never felt a thing. Love it. Had a great experience on that plane. The kid that was puking, the flight attendant was trying to help the parents clean that up. And she was gagged. It was a bad experience. So I will say really quickly, American Airlines. Oh, kudos to you. Yeah. We had four flights. We had four flights, and y'all know right now flying is a literal toss up. If you're going to make your flight at all, or if it's going to be delayed by hours and hours and hours, and then you're going to miss your connection. We had four flights go off without a literal hitch. No delays. No delays. No, no nothing. Issues other than the one turbulence, which they can't help. But mm -mm. Um, we landed in Salt Lake. Late. It was late. And the time change was getting to me. Yes. I. Uh, we were ready to go home and go to bed. But even then from there, so I went from New York to Texas. Mm -hmm. From Texas to Salt Lake. And then yeah. we had to go from Salt Lake about an hour to get to the hotel, which was near the Crumble headquarters. So it was just one of those exhausting, we you feel hard. disgusting, you're a zombie, you don't know your name. Like, it was just one of those. But days. thank the Lord we did that the night before because the other people who flew in, our friend Nicole, that we, that's on TikTok, flew in from South Carolina that morning. And I'm telling you, I couldn't have survived the day. If and Canyon and Brianna and Matt all flew in that morning. Or did they, did Canyon and, no, they all did. They all did, but Canyon and Brianna only had an hour and a half flight from California. Yeah. Matt flew from Virginia. Nicole flew from... Green South Carolina. Bill. So, anyways. So, we get there. Pretty much that night, we had no options for food. The hotel. We had no car. Concierge so. offered to drive us to McDonald's. Yeah, they were going to drive us to McDonald's. We said no. I got a Hot Pocket, and then we still ended up door dashing McDonald's, but we were just zombies. I mean, it was like 2 a.m. our time by that point. Yeah. So, we went to sleep. Woke up. I felt completely weird when I woke up. Yeah. But you have to understand that we are in negative altitude in Tennessee. We're in the valley and we went to the mountaintops. So I wake up, go do my gym thing, uh, walk outside. It's beautiful. beautiful. We couldn't see driving in because it was pitch, pitch black. black. So we woke up. I was like, look at this. I like open the window. There's this huge mountain right outside our window. And not East Tennessee mountains. No. We have beautiful mountains here, but these are the, the literal Rocky Mountains. Like gigantic mountains. And just giant mounds of rocks but it's beautiful i immediately had a weird like sickly headache i pushed through my workout i came back it was time to get ready we were both feeling weird but we pushed on through you can see most of this in the vlog i can usually sleep off motion sickness and the next day i'm fine it, it'll knock me down for the day but the next day after i sleep i'm good but i woke up and i was like hmm it's weird i was like i feel bad so i was trying to do i was trying to have a good attitude and like, have fun yeah but i felt weird bad it's just i'm telling you it's the altitude i know but i didn't know that right and i'm thinking that my motion sickness is carrying over so i'm like this is weird so i take more dreaming because i knew we were going to be in a car because we were driving to another part of utah oh anyways so we get to the Crumble headquarters, and everybody there could not have been nicer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We got there. Oh, my God. First off, Maddie met us in typical Maddie fashion. We ran into each other's arms. Love her. And then when we went in, there were people in there who were waiting on us with balloon arches and well, this huge Love welcome to Crumble sign and mini crumble cookies and Little swag bags, bags. And, and they were all so genuinely nice they all came up individually and, and hugged us and i love a good hug oh when george hugged me oh i miss george 
Oh. And I miss the girl with the slicked back bun whose name I don't remember, but she was beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Her. And then the little blonde with the ripped jeans. I love her. I know. The one that wanted the crumble cruise. Yeah. No. Miss her. That's a different one. But loved her too. I don't know which one you're talking the about. The first one. The one you warmed your hands with at the I love truck. her. Yeah. I wish I remembered all their names. I know. There were so many nice people. They were genuinely kind. so sweet. And you only think that's in the South. And honestly, it made the South look like booties because they were so kind genuinely and welcoming. Nice. And like, it, they may have been pretending and that's great, but they genuinely seemed excited to see us. And this was a typical work day for them. So Maddie's taking us around and taking us to each of the individual departments. And you would think they would just be like barely looking up from their work. They were no. thrilled to talk to we us. We got a, a clap welcome from one of the departments. Yeah. I mean. They were just so nice. Maddie, y'all hear us talking about her. Her sole job at Crumble, which I love, is to take care of their influencers and fans. Yeah. So her job is to connect with people like us on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, all these who review cookies and promote Crumble and make sure that we are taken care of. Taken care of, which props to Crumble for creating that oh, position. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh. And Maddie does a phenomenal job. Phenomenal job. So we and Abby. Around. Oh, if it weren't for Abby, we wouldn't be here. No. So, Abby. She started by what, I think we've talked about this before, but she was the one that, like, would go and comment on our videos and, like, got the ball rolling with Crumble and yeah. got us hooked up with Maddie. And so, Abby, Angel. We owe you and our indebted to you forever. Angel. We got to meet her. But I told Mackenzie the night before we left, I was like, what is this life that we're in Utah going to the Crumble headquarters tomorrow? And then we got there, and it was like Willy Wonka. It was really was. And they also, if you've watched that video, you'll see boxes and stuff stacked up. It's because they've only been in that corporate office since August. Yep. They were working, Maddie said they were working in a super small space until August. She would have to go take phone calls in the stairwell because there weren't enough offices. So they have just now transitioned over to this three-story amazing building place. and they're yep. still moving in. Um, they actually had done some work we went to um, back to headquarters at the end of the day, and they had put up those pink yeah, crumble box the on the wall. So they're still moving in. Yeah, everything's very much in process, but it's a beautiful, it's exactly how you would think it is. It's mm -hmm. just this big, modern, fun workspace. Elevators have cookie, like, yeah. wallpaper on them. Each room is named after a cookie, and each floor has a theme. Mm -hmm. But I think my favorite part of the HQ, you can tell yours. No, Gray Gray. She's trying to get into my fiber. Oh, Lord. Don't let her do that. Don't. My favorite part of the HQ tour was getting to see the test kitchen. There are people. The, the most dynamically sweet, precious people work in the test kitchen. I remember Erin's name, and I loved her. And I wish I remembered the other two because they were so kind. So kind. But um, their sole job is to create the flavors, test them. They said every day they have a meeting, and all they're doing is testing cookies. How fun. I know. So. They were so sweet. That was really cool to get to see that process and kind of how it was explained and see where every one of these flavors that we test is created. Yes. We were, and we were waiting on friends. So Nicole and Matt, the Southern Snack, ended up coming later in the day. But Brianna and Canyon arrived pretty soon after we do. We did. And I'll put all their links below. Mm -hmm. Um, to their TikToks. They're, tic they're all TikTok, except for Matt. He does both. He does both, but I'll put his YouTube channel because I think that's his main thing. Yeah. Um, but we first met Brianna and Canyon. And from they California. Were from California. Precious. Canyon is this sarcastic, hilarious, dry, my kind of person. Yeah. Like, loved him. Very dry sense of humor. Brianna is Precious and sweet and quiet, but just nice Fun. and goes along with everything, rolls with the punches. Yeah. We were worried previous because we didn't know who we were going to be with. We always thrive in social situations. We can make any... We are the buffers. We're the chameleons. And whatever. Yeah. So we knew we were going to be fine, but depending on the group is how hard we're going to have to work. That's right. And I don't feel like it was hard work at all. Oh, gosh. He was in a completely separate conversation in the back of the car that I was having in the front of the car with completely different people. Yeah. We all meshed so well. So mm -hmm. we did our tour of HQ and then Nicole and Matt came. Precious. Nicole's from, like I said, Nicole's from South Carolina. She's huge on TikTok and Matt's on both. From and, Virginia, right? He's from mm -hmm. Virginia. And we all piled in the car. 
We hung out all day together. And had so much fun. Crumble took us to lunch at Kitchen 88, which delicious. was absolutely delicious. And then, um, so Utah is predominantly a Mormon state. And so therefore- She said like 80%. Yeah. And- um, Salt Lake City, I think. Maybe not the whole state of Utah. I don't know. I don't know, maybe. Well, they don't drink coffee or alcohol. They said there's not one coffee pot in the entire Crumble headquarters. That's wild, y'all. Honey, the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office employees would not survive. I would not survive. Honey, thank God we're Southern Baptist. Um, right. But, Pass the caffeine. Uh, so, which I commend them for. That's, I mean, Great. for somebody to be able to, you know, alcohol is one thing, but also coffee. Oh, Lord. So, there, the big thing up there is soda shops and not like a normal soda shop that you would think of. Um, we went to the one called So Delicious, and it's basically any soda base that you can think of, and then like a hundred different flavors, and you can mix them all together, and they have some pre-made, you can make your own. I got some Diet Mountain Dew Tropical Mix. It was delicious. I got like a coconut, um, ginger ale, some kind of concoction. Brie got great. root beer and marshmallow. Yeah, it reminded me of like a... Um, like a soda shop meets like a icy place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a shaved these, ice. Yeah, because you can put all these different, and they're everywhere. They're everywhere because they don't drink coffee or and alcohol, so that's their go-to, which I think is super cool. I wish we had something like that oh, here. It's almost like Sonic, but not like Sonic at all. If anybody wants to pick up that business idea, oh, I'll visit. Absolutely. We did that. How is that? Uh, nutrition shop by the jail. Still going? Yeah, but you know I make my own. So. Yeah, I know. I just forgot about that until just now. Um, so we went to lunch and then we drove to, then we went back to headquarters and then we went to Park City mm -hmm. slash the site of the 2002 Winter Olympics. But to get there, we had to go on a very winding road for an hour. I was in the, when I say the back. I mean, we had a souped up Dodge Durango. The lunch. very, very back. It was great, but I was ready to get out of that car. Were you feeling sick or were you just cramped? Um, cramped. Because you were in the back when the cold, but yeah. it oh, was we like... we were having a great time. It was like the third row where, like, you have to climb over the second row to yeah. get back there. My, our knee, my knees were, like, in my chest. I'm not doing that because... She would have passed away. But we did it. I was struggling in the front seat. We and got I, there. Yeah. We were... I was inadequately prepared for the weather. So... Pause. Maddie took us on the scenic route, which I'm so thankful that she did because I've never seen anything like that before. We drove through the canyon. Mm -hmm. What canyon? I don't know. It was canyon. To get to Park City, the leaves were changing. We saw a lake at the base of the mountains. Truly, beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. Beautiful. It was beautiful. I'm glad we went that way, even though I wasn't feeling great. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, absolutely. Even in the back. We had to take a pee break. Um... So we get there, to me, y'all have to keep in mind I've been going to hot yoga every day for the past 365 days, which means I've, I've acclimated myself to a 95 plus degree room mm -hmm. and it has completely wrecked my internal thermostat. I've always been a little cold natured in the winter time, but now it's insane. So it was probably 50 degrees at the highest. Yeah, which is normally fine. Fine. But on the top of a mountain. Wind predominantly shaded but basically all shaded basically all shaded i was let's just say i was improperly dressed i had on a sweatshirt and some joggers um i was properly dressed in a thick flannel with a shirt but and you're jeans, still cold but right? i was still my hands it was cold and people showed up there with no jackets that lived oh, there yeah. so i think they were also unprepared yeah i think the day before it was 80 degrees so it's kind yeah. of like you just it's kind of like here. You never know what it's And Park be. City's altitude is even higher than Orem and Linden, which is where we were. Mm -hmm. So we went even higher. And I, I'm just saying And this the sickness to, got like worse and worse. But I still didn't make the connection because I was feeling, y'all, I was feeling bad. And they had zip lining, tubing, alpine. Chair lifts. And I was like. Free cookies, free food. Well, I, was, I wasn't going to participate in any of those activities except riding the chair lift that's really slow because I was feeling so bad. But then Nicole, who's from South Carolina, was like, I think it's the altitude. And I was like, I didn't think of that. She's like, because I'm feeling a little off. Mm -hmm. And I Googled it. And altitude sicknesses, dizziness, nausea, lightheadedness. And I was like, 
I'm not motion sick anymore. I'm altitude sick. Yeah. And it was incredible. So, but regardless of that, it, we had so much fun. And even the people there, we met more people at yeah. the party and they were so nice. All the social media girls were just, I was LOLing. Oh yeah. Crying laughing because they were so funny. Um, they had a big photo opportunity and a photo booth and chair list. Like we were talking about all this like outdoor adventure stuff that you could do. I mean, they spent, Crumble spent a lot of money on this birthday party. And they planned it in four weeks. It was kind of a last minute thing for them. And I'm just so glad that they considered bringing us. And I think one of the most like surprising things to me was Maddie sat all of us down who were, I hate using this word, social media influencers. I don't know what else to call us. I'm trying to be like humble. I'm like, no. But she sat us down and told us about some of the things that they have planned for us in the future. And what? I'm so excited. And just, she was like, please tell me what I can do for you all. And I told her, I was like, honestly, we didn't pick up cookies and review them. In Trying to that get things. We just wanted our cookies to be paid for, which they started doing a long time ago. Yeah. And we were content with that. Yeah, completely. Um, just to save us that cost. That was a dream. We yeah. were like, if we could do this and not, not have to pay for the cookies... Absolutely we'll be happy. Fine. We never thought we'd be sitting in Utah at the headquarters. And she's like, what can we do for you? Just and so above That just on. meant like the world to us that they literally have Crumble headquarters has a position where her sole job is to make sure that people like us have what we need so that we can do our reviews and stuff. So they were just so welcoming. And, and looking at the staff as a whole, I, I feel like they're very well taken care of as staff. And they seem to love their job and do backflips to be there. If y'all don't, if y'all are watching this, you're Crumble great Boys, actors. You're great actors you and need actresses. The Academy Award because you all just seemed very happy. I mean, I thought I was happy. Y'all are happy, and you don't even have any caffeine. Can you imagine body. walking into a building that's predominantly pink? Though I'd be happy too. We got to meet the photographers, the videographers, the, the CEO, the CEO. Oh God, help me, Lord. <laughs> uh, we just, everybody was just so kind. And I mean, I know that. <laughs> oh, that's kind of attractive. <laughs> oh, but. Not that so much that one. Oh, one more clavicle over here. Oh, there it is. This used to be a. Oh, yeah. G-rated channel, honey. It's still G-rated. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I'm a member of the LDS. All right. <laughs> so, we had a great time. We had a great time. We wrapped up the party, drove back, got everybody situated. Um, had the best Hawaiian food at that party. Yeah, they just had food trucks set up. That you can Crumble, just go up. Crumble had paid for it. You just walk up. Order, get your food. They had a set, one of those soda shops I was telling y'all about in a food truck for them there. Yep. And they had a ginormous crumble cookie cake that was stacked oh, like over here. Yeah. Cookies everywhere. I mean, we couldn't light the candles, and Sawyer and uh, Jason couldn't blow them out because it was just too windy. They tried, but. Oh, I didn't even notice that. You were waiting. You were. When in we were line. in line, the lines yeah. were really long. And then the crumble employees did a talent show. And it was so cute. There were so many cute little acts of I, Maddie. I bonded, by the way, while I was in line with all the crumble people up yeah. there. Honey, George. I was at the base of the mountain eating my Hawaiian food, talking to Abby. Me and George are... Love him. I love him. We're engaged. Missing. We're engaged. The ring's missing, but there you are. Um, it's going to happen. Um, what's that called? What, Church of the Latter-day Saints? No. I'm manifesting it. <laughs> Sure. I don't know if Mormons do that, honey. You're going to have to spiff you up on your practices. Okay. Also learned something up there. They laughed at me. I don't know. I went to a Christian school. Oh, Lord. Are and you... I studied all this, so I should have known. You can be Mormon and not be polygamous. <laughs> she was like, do I have a bunch of wives? I'm like, okay, <laughs> Jessica Simpson. <laughs> well, I didn't know. Honey, that's just on the TLC shows. Never and been to Utah before. 
And then we literally went back to the hotel, DoorDash, McDonald's. Oh no, that was breakfast. We were full that night. We went back to headquarters where we had broken into the test kitchen yes. unattended and convinced the workers to let us try some more cookies that are going to be coming out in future weeks. So we went back and had a great time um, and then went back to the hotel. We did DoorDash. No. No, we didn't. Because we were full. Dinner. Yeah, because well, we had Oh, and that. Chick-fil-A that night. I had Chick-fil-A. I didn't because I was still... Sick as a dog. Then we door dashed McDonald's. Then we had another full day of flights that, honest to goodness, yes, it was exhausting, but they were all fine. It was. I, it was exhausting just because you're traveling all day, but I could not have asked for a smoother flight going yeah. there or coming back as far as the schedule and stuff. It worked out perfectly. Yeah. Um, we were a bit panicked at the very beginning because when Maddie sent us our original flights, they were oh. all kinds of jacked up. But it was because she she didn't look. She just like sent it out and said, book two flights. And the person just booked two flights. We were hours and hours and hours apart from each other. And it was just crazy. I was arriving in Asheville eight hours after him. And I was like, I just, I can fly by myself and I'm fine with that. But he was my ride back to the Tri-Cities. Yeah. And well, we anyways. Didn't, we didn't care if we sat together, but we, we at least wanted to be on the same plane. We didn't sit together. No, not which at Which was all. completely fine. Honestly, we preferred that because I was kind of tired of it. Oh, we completely abandoned Listen. each other for aisle seats immediately. Because, <laughs> honey, when I'm on an airplane, I have to have an aisle seat to cross my leg. And this one, on both flights home, ended up with no one beside of him. Yep. How Meanwhile, you? I had Chatty McGee. Let me tell y'all, if you're on an airplane, I don't want to know where you're going oh. or where you're coming from. I love you. Be my ideal seatmate <sighs> by saying, not you don't have to say hello. No. But I'll tap you about two hours into the flight and say, I'm so sorry, I'm going to get up to pee and I promise this is it. And you'll say, fine, get up, let me go pee, come back. I'll say thank you. You'll say, you're welcome. And then you'll go back to Indiana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The end. I don't care if you're visiting your great aunt in Phoenix. <laughs> oh. Mm. So where are you from? And he was laughing at me because he heard the people in front of me start that. And I was like. But luckily it didn't last. It didn't last. And also, I keep reiterating, I was sick as a dog. Yes. And I just wanted to get home. And the Salt Lake City Airport is real long, as in directionally. We underestimated. My dad, I... Legitimately, I think, I'm not kidding you, it had to have been a, at least three-fourths of a mile from where we pulled in to our next gate. At, at least. We went over like five or six huge moving sidewalk stretches. Yeah. And we had a pretty tight connection as it was. Mm -hmm. Very tight connection. Yeah, which is, we didn't have time to eat. We were starving oh. the second our layover. We thought we were going to have plenty of time, but we didn't. Con well, that was the Charlotte airport. You don't consider though, I don't understand. And there's probably a reason for this, but <laughs> when planes land, you think oh. that they land, pull up to the gate, see ya. They land and they're like, I've flown my whole life with my parents going places. I've never taxied that long. I, was, I sent her a text and I was like, I'm pretty sure he's just driving us to the next destination. We were was taxiing. Incredible. I expect a short taxi. Yeah. I think we did four loops around the Charlotte airport before we were oh. like, hey. I was like, and then, are we still in Charlotte? And then, once you, find, once you finally stop, you've made a connection with the gate, everything's all hunky-dory, they hit that little doorbell, and then everybody <laughs> just stands. You're like, everybody just stands. And the people in the back rows try to inch up, and I'm like, I'll look, I'll yeah. Elbow you out of the way because I'm going at my turn. I'm about to barf. Yeah, it's it's too much. But they literally, it's like it's not even like ding, and everybody like gathers. No, and things. it's like ding, like we're going somewhere. Oh, I don't. I just sit there because I'm like, hey, I do too. But they think we're going somewhere, and I've got news for them. I don't know. Anyway, why does it take so long to deboard a plane? I loved. I'm used to flying Allegiant, aka the best of disguise, and I will say that I loved <laughs> the free beverage. And the free cookies on board American Airlines. Yeah. I also loved the free, free entertainment. Entertainment. You could plug in your phone to the USB if you had your charger. 
and charge your phone and watch hundreds of free movies. And I'm talking like Jurassic Park, like stuff that New just ones, came out in the theater. Where the crawdad scene. Yeah. Um, TV shows, Apple TV Plus. I, on the way home, because it was Saturday, watched football the whole way back. Um, there was college football on and that's my thing. So it had live TV in the sky and I got to watch the Alabama game. I watched Florida State. It was American. Yo. Well done. Absolutely loved it. And I figured that would have been, you could watch it for a cost. And I mean, I would have paid it. I probably would have on that long one because we had a four hour flight. Four we, hour. we flew back to Charlotte instead of Dallas, which I preferred getting that over with. I watched The Martian with, um, I don't know his name, Matt Damon. Mm -hmm. Incredible. And I watched episode one of The Newsroom from Apple TV Plus. Anyway. It was great. And here we are. We're back. We both fully reacclimated back to Tri-Cities uh, altitude. It was like, and I don't know if it was a mind thing, um, but when we landed in Charlotte, completely I was feeling better. better and yeah. then the next day I was completely fine. I was a little sinusy yesterday. I had like sinus pain and pressure, but then it went away. Which is expected, I think, being From in the that wind change. that we in oh, the yeah. wind that yeah. we were in all day. And Saturday. my ears were kind of hurting. So it was a. Uh, it was a lot. It it honestly, we knew that we were going to have fun because how could you not? But it really exceeded both of our expectations oh, and sure. how nice everybody was and welcoming, how good we got along with all the other social media people that we spent the day with. Yes. I like. Genuinely enjoyed being with them. I genuinely miss all of them. Yeah. Um, and it, I just can't say enough, A, how thankful we are, but B, yeah. everything worked out time-wise. Everything worked out flight-wise. Everything worked out hotel. Our hotel was great. Mm -hmm. That was a great hotel. Mm -hmm. um, getting to and fro, everything worked out. Like, it, I wish we could have been there longer, but at the same time, I had just come off the heels of New York, and honey, I was ready to be back. Oh, my. I'm not it, did not Oh, my. I'm going to figure out how to fix that altitude sickness before we go back. But it was great. Crumble, Maddie, Abby, genuinely thank you. We had a blast. A great time. We loved it. And we're looking forward Can't to Can't wait to come back next time. One thing that Maddie was like, what can I do for you all? And collectively, all of us were like, we would love to go somewhere together. Yeah. And all meet back up and go on like a social media retreat. Yeah. Tom's like, let's go on a cruise. That's always going to be his go-to. So that's just to say we all really enjoyed, I think, being together. Oh, yeah. I can't. I, I miss them. I know. We had so much fun. We, You really are forced to bond when yes. you're in that close proximity. It was like a little mini reality show. Yeah. Like we just had to. Especially being in that car. <laughs> that Durango. Well, honey, I got to go to the bathroom. So. I got to go home then. Whew. Your hair looks good. Um, thank you for watching. As always, I've slurped this dry and she's taken three sips. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell to get updated. Up. Do all that. I need a chiropractor. Anybody out there? Sawyer. Honey, don't. Call me. Actually, text me.